All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. And I gotta say, I am truly blessed with some of the best viewers um, on all of YouTube. So here's a perfect example of that. If y'all remember, I have started quite a few engines. Uh, well, I have started a handful of engines here in my shop on my old run stand. But in that last uh, 508 video, the run stand was starting to give out. I had made it out of uh, some kind of galvanized tubing that I had laying around. And it still works, but it's getting pretty ragged. So check out my brand new piece here made by a viewer. He decided to remain, un <laughs> he wanted to remain unnamed, which is cool. Uh, he's not worried about having a YouTube channel or any of that stuff, but he did something to actually truly help me out. Uh, and I definitely appreciate it. This will be so much nicer than the old thing I was using out there. Uh, it actually comes on four casters. I just got an old 440 block uh, put up here. I think I got that from Mike. Uh, but check us out. I mean, there's, there's nothing to it. And I know it'll have more weight on it later, but uh, really nice. He actually sent me an email and got the dimensions of my old one, so it's very close. So I sh all my headers, all that stuff should be great on it. It's plenty wide. If I need to raise or lower the engine, I can. I kind of made like a turnbuckle style here with the big nuts and just left that a little shallow, uh, a little narrow, I mean, so it can hit the ears of a big block or small block, basically anything, I would think. Uh, then it comes down these... Uh, the big piece of thread here uh, will actually slide in and out of that tube so it it won't be able to jump around with all the weight on it or anything see there's no way I can pick that up uh, but really super nice piece I can't think of enough uh, got some vinyl mat here so these will actually slide forward and back same thing in the rear I just used my big block bell housing I had here I've got a small block Mopar uh, also, just to have something to bolt up in the rear. All that's beautiful. I can steal my gauge and the stuff from the other one. Um, in the front, these are nice because you, if I wanted to fit a couple different size radiators, I can just slide them in and out, shoot, shoot some uh, self-tapping screws in there. Good to go. I can cut all this off if I want to, if it's too tall or in the way or any of that. Uh, but it gives me some good handles to uh, good handles to grab onto uh, to mount stuff to any of that stuff so really super super duper nice piece uh, great guy like I said I've got the best viewers on YouTube I've had a couple of trolls pop up lately but they don't really stay around long uh, which is good but man I couldn't be more thrilled with this thing uh, and I, I forgot to mention the guy was a professional welder for years. I mean, it's all, all strong stuff. Everything is beautiful. I couldn't have welded it that nice, no way. Um, and I, I, my deal is time. I wouldn't have had time to even attempt to start building this. I probably would have kept on using the other one out there because I stay so busy. But I've got at least three engines that I know of coming up soon. Um, so you'll get to see those on our new run stand and that'll be exciting stuff. So anyway, this will, this actually helps me out greatly. I appreciate y'all watching. And I, like I said, I appreciate our builder, uh, really good guy. So thank y'all for checking it out and I'll catch you next time.